Okay guys, before we hop into today's video, if we can smash 800 likes, I will belly flop in this pool. Wait, 800 likes and I'll belly flop and I'll do a front flip and smash my back on the water for the next video as the intro. Go smash a like. That's gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt. Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Matt Max. Thank you for tuning back in on the channel here today for another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video. We've got an awesome topic to talk about lined up on today's video. But like I said at the beginning, before we jump into it, 800 likes on today's video. And I'll be doing that belly flop in the pool and uh, also the front flip and smash my back on the water. It's going to flip and hurt. I should be able to get some GoPro footage and stuff like that, which will be awesome. So yeah, 800 likes and uh, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Also, we're going to be having the giveaway winners there up on screen here. Congrats to them. I will be contacting you today. Don't be disappointed if you didn't win this time. There's going to be tons more opportunities to enter COD Point giveaways in the near future on my channel. And uh, also in tomorrow's video, you want to be turning notifications on on the channel. Because when that video drops, they're going to be codes for Xbox and the PS4 throughout the whole of the video. Um, we're going to be coming back with the face cam videos and stuff like that. I've just got off holiday. So they'll be back tomorrow. So uh, yeah, if you want to claim them codes super, super quick, you've got to get to that video straight away. So turn on notifications so you're notified when it goes live. So today's video is going to be based around future DLC weapons we're going to be seeing in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now, I made a video about two weeks ago now. It's done really, really well. Um, talking about all the DLC weapons we've got in Black Ops 3 at the moment and kind of like a little rant. And with that, it was how many DLC weapons we have in the game at the moment compared to the original amount of guns that we had in the game on the disc. And Black Ops 3, we've got about two months left of its life cycle. And uh, there's opportunity for Treyarch to add in, I'd say, at least two more installments of like weapon packs that we could be seen added into the game. I think these last potential two DLC weapon installment packs we're going to be seeing more guns than melee weapons, which is awesome. And I think we're going to be seeing the likes of, well, the first one that was leaked in the game was the MP7. And that was even in the beta that was leaked. And it's been in the files of the game ever since. You know, the MP7, the files are all there. It's literally just been sitting there in the files of the game. So I think that's a potential gun we're going to be seeing coming to the game. Obviously, like I said, bringing back classic guns. It encourages people to go out and buy COD points to try and pull that in a supply drop. Just because of the whole memorabilia factor of using that gun in past Call of Duties and stuff like that. And uh, obviously the MP7, a massive gun in past Call of Duty titles, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2. And uh, yeah, another gun we could potentially be looking at is the M27. Again, this has been in the game since the beginning. People have used the code and managed to get it into the game, I believe. And I believe one time, um, Rejack, if you're using that specialist, when you go down, you actually dropped a copy of the M27, which was strange. So the files are all there. I think we're going to be seeing that added in to these last two installments. I think Treyarch are going to be going out with a bang, adding some crazy weapons in. And uh, some of these have been floating around as leaks for quite a long time, even since the beginning of the game. Now, we've seen the remake of the Peacekeeper from Black Ops 2 that came in. Obviously, increased sales of supply drops an absolute ton because it was people's favourite gun in Black Ops 2. I think adding that into Black Ops 3 was a good move on Treyarch's part. And I think their success they've seen off of adding in you know, old guns into Black Ops 3, like remakes, so we've had the HG-40, the FAMAS as well, and a ton of other well-known guns that, you know, Call of Duty fans love and want to see in the game. And obviously, we've got melee weapons to be added into these DLC installment packs. What are we going to be seeing from melee weapons now? We've had some crazy ones. It started off with just simple appliances like a crowbar, you know, brass knuckles, sword, simple stuff like that, and now it's kind of got into, you know, the Nightbreaker. We've had some really, really weird melee weapons recently, so it's going to be interesting to see what we're going to be getting in the next DLC installment pack. Um, I think, like I said, they're going to be going out with a bang, adding in the M27, the MP7, and some crazy melee weapons. So, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments section down below, what do you want to see as a DLC weapon from a past Call of Duty? Um, that'll be very interesting to know in the comment section down below, so make sure you're commenting. Like I said, 800 likes on today's video, and I will be doing that front flip into the pool and smashing my back and a belly flop and all of that. Um, so if you want to see that, smash a like on today's video and turn on notifications for the channel because tomorrow's video, I'm going to be having some codes pop up on the screen throughout the whole video. So the people that get to that video first, they're going to be claiming them codes. So make sure that's you if you want to get your hands on some COD point codes. Apart from that, that's going to wrap up today's video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Facecam videos will be coming back tomorrow as well now that I've got off holiday and stuff like that. 
So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys in the next video. It's been your boy, Matt Max. Have a great day. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.